Halo Blades on the Camille. So I like the proactivity by Telti Hub. Maybe yeah. they just Lady Invade Raptors. Yes, that's a spicy ah, one, That's isn't so it? good, no? And we'll see what... Three from the Grand Blue was also taken. So definitely Bo going to be on the back foot here as the entirety of Vitality just setting up for this invade. They see him on a ward, hook shot, wall shot. This time it does connect. Adaptive defense this means it's hard to kill him. Hilly ignites him, yeah. flashes! Oh, he solo kills that jungler, what a baller! Hilly ain't so silly. When he picks up first blood, his cards, he gets a gold card, and in the bottom side, it's another kill! You know what, Dagger, you're worried about this bottom line not working, but it's bloody doing the opposite. And they immediately go for the play, Hilly with the solo bow. Very careful. But the six, as you said, flash is available. Here comes Bo, the charm gonna connect, and this is just greedy. Video coming in, gets the shockwave, but Bo's still there. Flash, Tempest, Cripple, avoided. Oh, here, Bo's not in position. Yeah. He spotted an award on top side. I think that's why Daglas stopped his reset. And you can see Carmi Corp, they just have to completely give space here. Uh, Targamus stays oh, under buddy. turret, trying to clear out the wave. I mean, Upset reads the room. Passive comes through, Magnus Storm, but Daglas is tanky enough. He's got Flash too. Turret shot comes in though. He's burning down and it will be a trade. But the kill goes over to Hilly a second time. Upset has to sit here in a 1v2. And Bo, can he get in time for the next wave? Because Dagda, I feel like against the center. Right. Do that to a certain extent, but you're going to be really in the thick of things and there's a lot of AOE damage that will yep. just get you, you hit in the middle of this fight. And again, when, when you see things translate from solo queue to pro play, a lot of the time the builds also do change. In some regard as well, as Megana is achieved by Cabo Shard against the wall, Photon might find himself, but the connection's not there. A bit of a whoopsie from Cabo, but he's got Bo to cover him as Photon. Sorry, maybe it's not a problem. How I want to see them push forward here yep. is Douglas is going to find Bo. There's a crash down coming through. Bo took that Sonic Wave back in. Targamus is here, but Kazi's now joined in. Wait for the gold card as Drexel hits the wall instead. Targamus goes golden as a teleport as well. Hilly tries to predict, but Saken Spirit Rush over the wall, but now he's just jumped into a Shockwave and Ulti for the Hexen God made him not doing too much. KC are pulling apart the pieces. Video comes in and changes the fight though as Bo jumps over the wall. The shockwave finally comes through. I was baited before as Bo was too. Saken with the last spirit rush gets over the wall, but it's a two for two. Saken running for his life. Video giving movement speed to Photon. Vitality very spread out as they start to go in towards that, but upset, trying to see if he can find Karzi. He's got flash available too. Karzi has nothing except the gold card runs into it and will he die? Yes, he will. Upset gets one, that's beneficial, with a big shutdown over to Upset. Because trying to get that lockdown with Karzi and Hilly, that single point of contention is very easy. Destiny sees Targamus, Bo jumps on in, there's a Hextech ultimatum, I think that was a shockwave view, no it wasn't, excuse me, it's a bait in the Magnet Storm. They've already found Bo though, and KC start this fight off at a disadvantage. Good route onto Hilla saying, but rest of Vitality are flying through, and as you mentioned, Photon has appeared! Targa runs out, if only just to save his own life. As Photon takes a trade on the way out, but KC ascent packing again. Herald is going to reset, but not for too long. We're also struggling to see a front to back, a, a, a team fight put together by this team. Here in this game, not giving the opportunity as the Magnus Storm comes out and dredge line away, but follows Hilly as the TV comes through. Maybe Vitality gone too far forward, but with a double shattering strike, it's only Douglas for the time being, but the charm means everything. Opening up as Cabo flashes in, gets the route back. And I may have cursed him in a good way. You are welcome, KC fans. I'm here all game. But is Hilly going to be around for much longer? Saken gets the charm. Oh, he predicts it as well. Saken nicely done. The Hexec Ultimatum flies through, but as Hilly flashes away, Cabo has the range. And it's another one to bite the dust. KC are quickly. They want to try and bait KC in, though, so they can go for the turn. Watch Hillisang has the ults available. They want to try and catch Bo. What can they do? A crucial moment for KC here. They don't want to fall down with the rest of the two and fives. And Vitality got playoffs to make. Sonic Wave! Not stolen. Bo, a noble attempt to kick Flash as his way out as Photon goes over the wall. But meanwhile, Target tries to get the rest of the fight. The depth charge there. Hilly about to dive it with his dying breath. An ultimatum flies through. A shockwave follows through. And Vitality on the edge of everything. Still take on KC with open arms. Bo running for his life, but Kazi. The camera flicks back, another kill flies through, and Vitality reassure us that this game ain't going anywhere. Oh, Daglis spotted upset of the wall, but not going to follow. Photon picks off Saken on the top side of the fight as the rest of Vitality are running amok on Carmine Corp. Now, Kalushar can't defend against Photon. He's about to go mega. Vitality going to have to wait this one out. Like Is that okay. the, maybe the moment where they want to try and go? Vitality, though, as soon as they see members of KC start to lean top, 
They just go for the mid lane turrets. But the edge of Night Purchase as well on Photon makes things even harder. Hilly now returns to mid as you can see slowly pushing away. There it is. The engage comes in. Hex that gold ultimatum flies in. Vitality. This draft, again, how ballsy it was for their playoff game. As now moving to the top side, one inhibitor already down. KC need to find a moment to fight. Maybe this is not it. They're not getting the engage they want. They're not getting the opportunity. Destiny used Kazi in position with a gold card. And KC are like, maybe the last stand has to be in front of the Nexus turrets because now the base is completely shattered. And there's no way for Carmine Corp to really try and answer for this. Aiken gone to clear the double super creeps, but he's not going to be able to do so. So Vitality playing this one by the book, slow and steady, take down the last inhibitor turrets and the last inhibitor and now the minions are still streaming in and kc they're kind of just left trying to hold the fort while vitality got to go and slay a dragon i like again that they've had such aggression in this game but they're trying to play the dragon but Tarquin's probably thinks that peekaboo oh he's not going anywhere photon picks it up and now five versus four those minion waves are going to be even more impactful as kc probably thought oh they're setting up for dragon Tarquin's felt safe but that was a lie and that's your main engage tool down. Cavo in Mininar, not going to be able to try and set this one up. He needs to try and stack it. Seiken tries to go. He tries. Video goes gold. He's finally with the Seeker's Arm Guard used out. Video comes out and he's quite all right. Seiken with two Spirit Rushes available. The wave's crashing in. Charm does connect, but it's on to Daglas. And they have to make their stand here. Gold card sets up. Turret's getting hit down. Bo stands, but to his own ground. He won't do too much as Photon is firing away. I've seen many Aatroxes today, and Photon and Wonder are hitting peak. He's in the front line taking damage himself, but still refuses to die. And Vitality sit in front of the Nexus. Hit away. Say, we are Viva La France, and we are going to playoffs in spring. The five wins for Vitality is taken. And the loss delivered to Carmine Corp, who desperately would have liked to try and put themselves up against Mad Lions Koi ahead of Giant X. But it's Vitality with a very, very clean game who locked themselves into playoffs. Got to be so happy about that. I mean, especially when Vitality this split. Dagda, we came through after last split. We said